We're here at the SHOT Show in Dallas with uh, Yukio Iwamasa, who has got something that we feel is just an excellent, excellent product as far as concealment holsters goes. Uh, you're just not going to believe what you see right now. Now, how many people out there knew that he had that under there? <laughs> it's gone, isn't it? Hard to detect. Totally disappears under the normal fold in the shirt. We're not talking about a compact uh, gun there. We're talking pretty good size. That was a compact uh, 45. Well, <laughs> what you're looking at is the best concealment holster going. There's absolutely nothing will hide a gun better than this. And it's uh, the sensation of the show. I think we're selling out. Uh, Excellent. We have a, a tremendous reception here during the show. Okay. If our viewers would like to contact you about purchasing this direct, who, how would they go about it? Well, well first place they might look is Guns and Ammo because we're in that every uh, that magazine every month. Your local law enforcement uh, journals, uh, Handguns Magazine, Shooting Times Magazine. We have a full page ad there, so we're pretty easy to get a hold of. Uh, the 800 number would be 442-3627. So that's another way. Okay, very good. How about giving us another quick shot of that? There you go. Magic is putting this away and making it disappear. Yeah, I bet you still didn't know it was there. And it's gone. There you go. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Kurt Vickers and Lane Kirk from Florida to Texas, a uh, loyal viewer of the shooting show. And Lane, we want you folks to know how much we appreciate you. Folks, we're here at the uh, SHOT Show down in uh, Dallas, and we have the distinct pleasure of uh, speaking with Carol Lee Boyle Sprinkle, who is an outdoor writer and uh, also a big game hunter. And uh, we'd like her to talk to you a little bit about uh, guns and women's issues and, well, whatever strikes her fancy. Okay, Carol thank Lee. you. Uh, I write for women in guns and shooting industry as well as about anybody else who will pay me. <laughs> Uh, but one, my, one of my projects right now is I'm putting together a database of women who hunt, what they want to hunt, where they want to hunt, that sort of thing, so that as I'm invited out to hunt with an outfitter or whomever, I can build some women hunts, some women's hunts, and take them places they might not otherwise get to go, three or four at a time, that sort of thing. And so I'm here, one of the things I'm doing at the SHOT Show is actively looking for women hunters to get them signed up on my list if they're interested. Okay. For some of the women out there, why don't you tell them uh, a little bit about what you've brought down in the past? Well, I was in Africa, spring to us, fall to them, last April and May, and killed two impala, a warthog, and a wildebeest, and I'd love to take a group of women back this May. And I know people are a little bit nervous about the political situation in South Africa right now, and if it's uncomfortable at that time, we'll postpone it to the fall because things should be settled down by then. But if any women hunters are out there and want to go to Africa with me, I'd love to hear from them. I've also got a um, hog hunt supposed to take place in South Florida in February. Haven't had a whole lot of response on that yet. So if there's some women out there, or if they're just interested in getting on the list, I'd love to hear from them. And what kind of features are you doing for the uh, Women and Guns magazine? Is it going to be strictly hunting, or are you addressing no. the self-defense aspects? Uh, mostly shooting. I'm going to be doing some air gun pieces this year, hearing protection, uh, eye protection, that sort of thing. So just anything in general right. uh, to help inform our women and viewers? Right. Encourage women to shoot and also some of the self-defense aspect, I think, probably. Okay. Very good. I think nothing would help the shooting sports more than to you know, get a whole bunch of women together, get them out on a good, successful hunt, and mm -hmm. report back to us. Women are the future of hunting. We're the fastest growing segment of the outdoor industry, and especially with the anti-hunters out there. I think women, because most anti-hunters are women, Women can respond to their concerns in ways that man's, men simply can't. I mean, it's just a fact of life. And so I think it's, it's important for women hunters to, to be visible and to learn as much as they can about their support because, you know, we're, we're headed into some serious problems with the Andis. 
Yeah, I think it'd be really interesting to hear some teenage boy whining that no, he can't go out with his friends because his mom's taking him deer hunting this weekend. I'll I tell you what, I have a little boy who will be four in three weeks, and he and I killed a deer together before he was two. And now he wants to go squirrel hunting every chance we get. Oh, that's fantastic. So That, that is the future of hunting and it the is. future of shooting in this country. Well, thank you very much for sitting and speaking with us. Thank you. Back to you. <laughs> No, it's okay. Get our show on there. Myrna, smile. Smile, Myrna. Smile, Myrna. Wait a minute. myself there. You got it? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Cover Johnny's face. I'll tell you what now. I'm not in the mood for it. <laughs> This is Chuck McDonald. This is our our gunsmith person, Kim, and this is her mother, lovely mother. Let me add, and Jerry, and the gentleman in the back back there. Let him wave, and he's well. Okay. Anyway, if they have, and we're gonna say we're tuning to death. side lever on the side of the frame. Of course, it also has a spring-loaded ejector, which is a very nice feature. It looks to be extremely well made. It really gives you a real good impression just looking at it. So we're looking forward to testing these guns on the show. Three, two, one. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're here a couple of our loyal viewers, Greg and Larry, representing the R gun shop out in Clovis, New Mexico. And we hope to get out there way soon and uh, I think they're having a great time here at the show. We're certainly glad to meet them. Ladies and gentlemen, we're at the Crossman booth with uh, Ted Harks and Bob. And Bob, say your name for me one more Sol time. Vera. Okay. That's, <laughs> that's a good uh, good Italian name. Sure well, is. sir, uh, we're very pleased to see you folks here in the booth. We're uh, very interested in this uh, facility behind us. Tell us some of the things that you and Crossman are doing uh, about youth programs and Boy Scouts, some of the things you're doing to introduce new shooters uh, into our field. Well, Crossman has had a commitment to youth shooting for many, many years before I even got involved with Crossman. And uh, now we've expanded it to include uh, programs uh, that go from Cub Scouts all the way through to uh, college uh, students in the Explorer program. As a matter of fact, this year, uh, this July, we'll be running an event in Indiana at uh, the Indiana University for uh, law enforcement explorers and explorers where uh, the winners of the shooting competition uh, will receive college scholarships for the shooting. This past summer, we had uh, a total of 38,000 youngsters in Boy Scouts at Fredericksburg, Virginia go through either the Bikeathlon, which is an event that Crossman created uh, about six years ago that's patterned after the Biathlon, which of course is cross-country skiing, small bore rifle shooting, and the Bikeathlon replaced the skis with cross-country bicycles and replaced the firearms with air guns. And they're racing the clock. It was quite an event, and a total of 18,055 scouts completed that course, and the remainder of the 38,000 completed a marksmanship program. Well, sir, that is wonderful. We're so uh, much in appreciation of what you're doing, and we're going to try and support uh, you in your efforts. Well, we're certainly glad to hear that. 
Yeah, you know, we have a little air gun range back here. And we well, thought at a shot show it might be fun to have people actually shoot. So it's been the most popular attraction at the show. We've gone through 20,000 pellets in about two days. So well, now tell us show about you your target. Tell us how your targets have held up back here. We can see in the background, say you've shot 20,000 pellets. The targets have taken quite a beating. Am I correct on that? That's, that's our only problem. We've just plumbed more out of targets. We're holding them together with bailing wire and anything else we can do just to try and get through the show. We never expected it to be that successful. Well, we certainly appreciate what you folks are doing. We're going to show our viewing audience some of your new products or some of the same products you've had. Great. Well, it's a pleasure talking to you. And have fun at the show. And these are the Silver Series guns from Crossman. And some of the folks may be wondering why Crossman goes to the efforts to make their air guns look like uh, the uh, full-size firearms is because you can gain familiarity with your full-size gun and gain practice uh, off the range with these uh, pellet guns. Okay. Gentlemen, of course, we have Kurt talking here with Bob Soldevera, and he has a very interesting program that he's working with in New York City, and we think this is something that a lot of other people might like to know about. All right. Aside from having the privilege of working with Crossman Air Guns, I'm director of the National Athletics Resource Development Center in New York City, where over the past 15 years we've had a test program running, and it's been highly successful. Four high schools in New York City offer shooting as a regular part of their athletics program, and it's been extremely successful, and I feel that this can be even more successful if attached to this program we had a scholarship fund, a substantial fund, that would provide for uh, at least $5,000 for every participating school and full-time professional coaches. Well, sir, tell us some of the things you've had. Uh, uh... Many of these uh, students that participate in the program have gone on to receive scholarships at universities that offer shooting. But the most important part for those that lost interest after a short time, at least they left the program with a thorough knowledge of safety and the knowledge that they did not have to sneak behind the barn to, to, to use a gun. And the, the <coughs> best way to get into trouble with firearms is to tell a youngster, don't touch that. You're inviting disaster by doing that. Instead, we take these youngsters, teach them the right way to shoot, and tell them whenever you want to shoot, come down here on the, on the range where it's safe, properly supervised, and have a good time. If you're not going to be a competitor, just enjoy shooting sports. It's a lot of fun, and it's, it's the, the only sport that I can think of that's totally non-discriminatory. You can be young or old, overweight or underweight, tall or short. I am working on a project right now, shooting for the blind, using a laser and the uh, technology developed by New York Bell, uh, where the closer you come to the bullseye, the higher pitch tone you hear, and when the tone starts to beep, squeeze the trigger, and you have a bullseye. And don't be surprised if blind people shoot better than sighted people, because they're not being distracted by the target. They're, they're changing their position to get a natural point of aim at the bullseye. And all we have to teach them is how to squeeze the trigger without disturbing that perfect hole. So I might uh, have something exciting for you in a year or two. Well, Bob, we appreciate it very much. And any way we can be of assistance, we sure will. Well, thanks a lot. Take a picture still. Two, one. Ladies and gentlemen, we're here at the Alamar booth here. Some of their staff, and they have a number of knives in the case. And this is Ryan. Ryan, Mar, Ryan, Rianne. And she's showing a very large knife there. And I believe they have a knife for just about every occasion. And it's a very, very pretty, but useful. Uh, types of blades. This, you'd be amazed how well uh, these um, <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, here we are inside the shot show. It's a fantastic size. 
you and I'm trying to get out of your way. It's okay. It's unbelievable. This is floor one. The largest sporting goods display in a single place in the world. Two, one. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're in the Navy Arms booth, and this is Susan Forge. Did I say that right? That's correct. Forge. And she is showing us, well, just one thing. And this, in fact, is Dean Spear, who's standing over here giving me trouble. All right. Now then, back to the item at hand. Okay. She uh, has a real pretty revolver. It's a modernized edition of the Smith & Wesson Schofield. So, Susan, why don't you show us how it works, please? It was a favorite of the Cowboys and the Westerners in the Old West as its ability to be rapidly reloaded. Very popular way Jesse James used to do it. It's like so. Now, isn't that something? Now, what caliber is, is this going to be in, Susan? In 45 long colts or 44 40. Well, and we're especially glad to hear that because 44 Russian ammunition is getting rather hard to find. Yes, it is. That is <laughs> so true. we're so pleased. And that was actually the official uh, U.S. Uh, military gun for a couple of years, wasn't it? Yes, it was. In fact, uh, General Custer carried this one. I'm is not that? sure that's the best recommendation right now. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. <laughs> Well, it's so nice, uh, such a nice execution of, of that design. It looks, uh, I'm sure you're going to sell a whole lot of those. And yeah, it's an exact replica. For that matter, probably a couple to Dane here and, and Kurt and myself. So, Susan, thank you very much. You're welcome. Three, two, one. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're down at the HKS uh, booth here at the SHOT Show. Joe and Bill Watson. Uh, yeah, Joe and we do that over. Right. Eddie, take two, three, two, one. Ladies and gentlemen, we're down at the HKS booth with Joe and Bill Watson, a couple of good friends of ours. Of course, you've seen their speed loaders and especially magazine loaders. Of course, this is uh, Mike Wilson over here is assisting them of their company, and if we showed you how well their magazine loaders work. So many people shooting semi-automatics out there, and of course, the revolver shooters primarily like I am, well, they really do appreciate their speed loaders. So good to see them at the SHOT Show. All right, Mike's going to demonstrate, of course, you've seen their magazine loader on our show, but Mike has several different models, so Mike, show us what you have there, sir. That's the adjustable model. Well, that is so neat. That's going to save a lot of thumbs on the range. Of course, their stuff is very, very high quality. And you don't have to worry about it breaking. Okay, edit. Ladies and gentlemen, here we are at the Corbon booth at the SHOT Show, 1994 SHOT Show. And beautiful, how about downtown Dallas, Texas? Yes, sir. <laughs> But it really has been a great show, hasn't yes, it, Peter? Yes, it has. It's been a superb show. Uh, and it's been, uh, I think all the, all the exhibitors are just uh, beaming. It's been very busy. It's been, real busy. it's been a super show for us, I'll tell you. It's been a real good show. Well, ladies and gentlemen, a lot of you met Peter High from our Soldier Fortune Convention out in Las Vegas, and we're so pleased to be associated with them. They have, of course, some of the absolute best uh, defense and sporting ammunition uh, that money can buy, in fact, at any price. So, Peter, you have some new products that you're going to be showing us. Yeah, we've got a bunch of new pro projects that we're working on. Uh, 
One of our new ones is uh, really exciting here from Smith & Wesson. Uh, that's a new Smith & Wesson Performance Center gun in the 356 TSW, which gives you the same performance as a 357 Magnum. So all you have is a compact 357 Magnum auto pistol. It's a 124 grain uh, jacket of hollow point, velocity 1,450 feet per second, which My is goodness. ballistically identical to the 357 Magnum. Right. That's a, that's a new one for us. The other cartridge is the uh, 356, uh, excuse me, 356, the 300 Whisper, which is the, uh, it comes in both the subsonic and sonic ammunition. Well, let's, um, let's hold up on that a second. Okay. Uh, we featured this with J.D. Jones out, right. Uh, right. a while back on our show, yep. and you're going to be offering this as factory ammunition. Right. J.D. designed the cartridge. He's, uh, uh does the upper assemblies for the uh, AR-15, mm -hmm. and we are got the exclusive license from J.D. to manufacture the cartridge. Well, that's exciting because you have a deer round, mm -hmm. literally, because most of our people know that the 223 and, and so many people now have right. the AR type guns. Sure. The 223, friends, is really light for deer. Right. But this, in fact, will give your, your AR roughly 7.6239 per performance. performance. Right. That's 100, great. 125 grain bullets at uh, 2,350 feet per second, which is identical to the 7.62 by 39. That's, that's tremendous. Right. And then for the uh, for military and police applications, you, on this you can take put on a slide on the suppressor mm -hmm. and use the 220 grain suppressed round, mm -hmm. which is uh, good out to about 300 yards uh, for that purposes. Thompson Contender was so impressed with this cartridge that they are now chambering the TC contenders for the 300 Whisper as a silhouette uh, metallic silhouette application. Well, that's right. Yeah, and, uh, and hunting, of course. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Well, I notice you have some other new rounds. Sure. We see a, a 45 Colt yeah. round here now. Yeah. We have uh, a new 45 Long Colt. We've had a lot of customers uh, say come to us and say, "Gee, we really need to modernize a 45 Long Colt." So this is our uh, 200 grain uh, flying ashtray load, big hollow point load. Uh, it does uh, about 1,100 feet per second, and uh, makes the 45 Long Colt uh, more um, uh, modern uh, well, hollow point. Is this, can this be used? And a lot of us now are shooting the Italian. Uh, copies of the 40 Colt single action right, army. Right, it works just fine in and those guns. this will out. be safe, and even the Colts are in good absolutely, condition. Absolutely, absolutely. Because a lot yeah. of us like single action, the President mm -hmm. Company accepted it, a lot sure. of us like single action revolvers. Right. And uh, on those guns, that'll be a tremendous level. Yes, yeah, it will definitely boost the performance level of the 45 long Colt. Well, you mm -hmm. know, a lot of the Ipsic shooters have 38 Supers at home, and mm -hmm. I noticed that you also yeah. have a, a fire breathing 38 Super load. Yeah, we have that, two 38 Super loads, okay. uh, 115 grain. And the 124 grain, uh, like I said, a lot of guys, they, they like to uh, keep their uh, their Ipsic gun for home protection mm -hmm. and stuff like mm -hmm. that. And obviously, the Ipsic load type loads are no good for home right. protection. Okay. So uh, we've designed two good hollow points. One is 115, 124 grain uh, for the uh, for the 38 Super. You know, this is something to think about because now we're facing regulation that we may not be able to own as many guns in some parts mm -hmm. of the country. Right. And you can have a gun for sport, for a game gun, and still, Sense. and like you said, many times we're not practical in the past. Well, that's, that's great. correct. Mm -hmm. Well, now, I understand you also, you bought, you have a company that you recently purchased, right. mm -hmm. and you're making some yeah. pretty spectacular new ammunition, my friend. Yeah, we just, uh, we just picked up uh, Corbon Superior ammunition, which is a line of rifle ammunition to complement our pistol ammunition. So we're going to be offering to the to the shooter uh, uh, performance-oriented uh, hunting rifle ammunition. Mm -hmm. Speaking of that, now you do have some 7.6239. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. and you know, this is, uh, in some places, this yeah. is getting hard to find, but this yeah. is genuine sporting ammunition. And right. I'm guessing a nozzler ballistic tip. Right, it's a nozzler ballistic tip uh, for for you guys that are shooting a lot of the uh, you know probably you shoot the Chinese ammunition stuff like that. Right, uh, it's good uh, you know for practice when you go out and want to practice with that mm -hmm. stuff to use your full metal jacket and right. stuff. But for loading for home defense, you don't want a whole lot of over penetration. Right. So this is why we designed the ballistic tip. It has a nylon tip on the point that lets the uh, cartridge feed like full metal jacket hardball. Okay, but it will give you the performance of a hollow point, oh, yeah. so without the excess uh, penetration, especially in an apartment building or anything like that. That's really important because mm -hmm. a lot of people have bought these guns now for home defense, right. and the full metal jacket is really way over penetrated. Absolutely, absolutely. Thing. And those of you 
uh, we have tried some soft nose bullets right. in the AKs and SKs, and it, and it didn't wasn't 100 percent reliable. Right. But right. this uh, that will be yeah. if it'll feed full metal jacket. Yeah, it'll feed. Right. They have, the bullet has a full metal jacket profile, so it'll feed like full metal jacket. But the nylon tip on impact pushes it down into the bullet, causing it to expand, uh -huh. and uh -huh. gives you the performance of a hollow point. Well, that's great. We're yeah. All right, well, let's take a let's go over here and okay, look at sure. your superior ammunition. Edit. We're out. Hold it. Okay. Three, two. Okay. Well, now, Peter, tell us about we uh, see your superior ammunition, and I see some very large cartridges over here. Yeah, we're, we're starting to load all the new uh, African style cartridges uh, that have pretty much been extinct here for quite a while and they're really hard to come by and we're now going to start offering these to the guys who are going over to Africa with the big uh, double you know double barrel rifles and stuff for well, example some of these guns are still out there oh yeah they're, they're still they're still very popular they're you know they're very expensive uh, and ammunition has not been you know available for them for quite some time so we're going to get back into offering these uh, these big thunder dunders here well can we get a, a 30 out six or so sure. to show the people or 223 for that matter. Let's show them a 223. Just for a concise comparison. There's the, the, uh, there you go. I'll put it. You have the My friends give you an idea. We're all familiar with these two cartridges here on your in the middle and left. And the 600, this was one of the original elephant rounds. And, of course, today, if you find one of these rounds, this may go for $200 a piece at a gun show somewhere. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, still, they're going to be very expensive. They're, they're, you know, they're in the neighborhood of about $5 a round. Well, that's, that's a whole lot less than $200 no, a round. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's great. Well, sir, uh, we're, we're so appreciative of what you folks are doing. And, friends, this is a, an example of a, a young company. Of course, you've been around yeah. 10 years now. 10 years yeah. for the firearms business. It's a young oh, uh, sure. company. But let me tell you what, they have put a lot of the, shall we say, larger, older entrenched companies on their ear because they're offering ammunition that, to my knowledge, nobody else has been able to match in a number of different calibers. So, for information on Corbon ammunition, and you know that, trust me on this one, we would not say it if it were not so. It is absolutely superior ammunition. Let's have that 800 number. Sure, here. it's 800-788-2666. Again, 1-800-788-2666. Peter, thank you so okay. much. Good thank to see you, Johnny. Folks. Good to see you again. Ladies and gentlemen, you're looking at two-thirds of the shooting show staff here as we speak. Notice they're somewhat, uh, somewhat droopy eyes because they're tired. They've been marching around here doing battle with the good advertisers on floor two and then the hated bureaucrat advertisers on floor one. Edit three, two, one. Well, ladies and gentlemen, here we are at the 1994 SHOT Show in Dallas, and they have one of the neatest, uh, I suppose these things are bronze. Beats heck out of me what they are, but they're big, I know that. In fact, let's get, hey, Kirk, Kirk 64, would you please go over and stand by that, please, sir? Now, one of two things. Either things in Texas really did used to be a lot bigger, or uh, they made them a little bit larger to scale. But it's a, a wonderful sculpture uh, with the horse and the cowboy there. And of course, our associate producer, an all around nice guy, Kurt Vickers, demonstrating just the size of these things. It's real pretty. Confederate monument, nobody gave them the word they lost. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, here is uh, the one and only Frank Baggett, our advertising manager who is just finishing off his Coca-Cola. And he's standing next to the cemetery. This is an interesting thing here at the, uh, at the convention center here in Dallas. And of course, this is a gigantic building. Uh, we're having a little, in fact, it's a little snow and sleet forecast for today as we're doing our program. But let me do a little sweep here. Your reporter and slash cameraman today. Okay, it is a gigantic facility. 
Of course, at the SHOT Show, people are here from literally all over the world, and we'll be going inside and looking at different products. It's interesting, there is a, uh, an old cemetery here by the uh, convention center, and just looking, there's a monument that we feel like we should report. Uh, this monument was put here in 1896, and it's to the Confederate Army, I believe by Daughters of the Confederacy. And uh, I tell you what, by reading the monument, it sounds like the South won. Now, <laughs> someone probably should have told them that it didn't turn out quite that way. But, uh, oh heck, you know, a little, little poetic license, I suppose. Ladies and gentlemen, this is legendary Colonel Rex Applegate, and he is showing Kurt a custom-made cane. Friends, let me tell you what, this man has, has done and forgotten more than most of us in the adventure business will ever even know about. He is a very, uh, very fine and decent person, and certainly as nice as can be to talk to, one of the most knowledgeable people about firearms and for that matter warfare. He helped establish some agencies that are in effect even today. Uh, and his program is still being used by a number of governments all over the world and certainly private organizations. Well, they don't, they don't know where to exactly go yet and I think it'll kind of settle out in, the, in a few months. And one of the things I'd like to see is this whole industry, do they give a little more support to the NRA on the basis of uh, you know, 1% of sales or something? Get something going. Yeah. Yeah. This is yeah. basically my uh, my feeling on it. That's where the action is. Well, the, we were talking with one of the gentlemen from Cross and Air Guns who's involved yeah. in a lot of shooting programs in high school. He was saying, if they'd only take a fraction of what they pay for their boots here yeah. and donate it to a scholarship fund, the industry That's right. could generate well, fantastic. The, uh, well, I think they all better. Or less now and point in one direction. Mm -hmm. Need somebody to bring us where the action's going to be. That's where the battle's going to be fought. So this is where everybody ought to go in and not go all directions at once, like the fabulous turn off the law. You know. yeah. <coughs> That's about the way it would be. Well, thank you for talking about that. Mm -hmm. Right. Sincere. What, what are you going to do? Where are you going to broadcast this. Can you send me a tape or something? I sure can. I just got you talking to Kurt. Yeah, and, well, uh, I mean, but I'd like to sketch your... Well, yeah, plus, we'll probably have it on next week. If you know. Well, can you... Two, one. Ladies and gentlemen, we're at the Cimarron Firearms Company booth, and this is one of the more spectacular, shall we say, colorful booths. We have a, a real live dead buffalo, stuffed buffalo, and I'll tell you, it's most impressive. This gentleman's name is Mr. Keith and Keith, tell me your left one. Uh, Magnese. Magnese, okay. I'm having trouble reading it from here with my left eye. Uh, they have a terrific uh, product line, and Keith's going to show us some of their uh, different rifles. Uh, uh, reproduction, shall we say, very high quality reproduction. Also, we're going to remind you they're really big into the cowboy shooting or single action shooting society type matches, and we are going to be covering some more of these things. So, Keith, tell us, uh, show us some of the things you'd like to this afternoon. Okay, John, let me first of all show you a new product that we have. This just, this just came out on the market. This is called the New Thunder. What we've done with this weapon is we've taken the standard single action, outfitted it with a three and a half inch barrel. We took the grip off the old Colt Lightning, Colt double action revolvers, which a lot of people have shown interest in. We've enlarged a little bit and made it where we fit onto a single action weapon. Call this the new Thunder. It's available in four, two barrel lengths, the three and a half, and the four and three quarter. It comes in four different calibers. Everybody out there that's building single action now wishes they could have this gun. This is our exclusive. We pay for the tooling. It's our design, and this is our baby. We're really proud of it. It's a tremendous seller for it. Well, we'd we like really to think, We really think that it's going to be the, the hottest new thing in Western action shooting. Well, it is most impressive, and we want to remind folks that. These reproductions, in fact, are getting better and better. 
In fact, their quality cannot be faulty. These things are just as pretty. And in fact, they're probably a lot more durable than the originals, aren't they, Keith? Yes, they are. They're made from better materials. Uh -huh. they're, they're made to accommodate modern cartridges to shoot smokeless loads. This is one of our standard single lashes. It comes in the fire blue or charcoal blue, which we offer two finishes. We offer a modern rust blue for folks that want a weapon that has a durable finish. But for those that want an authentic finish on their old single action Colt, this is it. This is the way Colt did it. You put a Colt next to this, you can't tell the difference. Well, in fact, there was a reason they called it blueing. A lot of it's black today, but yes. that is, in fact, a real pretty blue. I hope this comes this, out on this our video. This blueing on this gun is achieved by heating the, the weapon in a in a furnace. It's called niter blue or fire blue. But it was actually done by heating it to a temperature 750 degrees, at which point the steel will turn blue. Well, that is as pretty as can be. John, I'll show you a few of the rifles that we marked. This one right here, everybody that saw Dance's Wolf ought to recognize this rifle. This is a Henry rifle. Mm -hmm. It's available in three models. We have it in the 44 caliber civilian model. We have it in the 45 caliber civilian model. And we carry it in our Civil War model, which has sling swivels, it has all the military markings, and the inspector's cartridge is stamped into it. Now what, now of course this is not in the original caliber, what? Well, the original caliber was 44 rimfire. Uh -huh. A few of them were later converted to 4440 cartridge, is what this rifle is. Mm -hmm. This is in the 4440 cartridge. Our Civil War model is an exacting reproduction of the Civil War model Henry, down to the inspector's markings as well. But we would like to remind the folks that these guns are in calibers that ammunition is actually available for, which we think is very important. Because if we're going to have one of these real pretty and functional firearms, we don't sure want to be able to shoot them. Yes. This model is known as the 1866 Winchester, also known as the Yellow Boy, is a more common name. This is a weapon that followed the Henry in the line of guns produced by Winchester in the mid-1800s. The reason Winchester developed this is because they found that with the Henry, it did not have a forend on it under rapid fire conditions. The barrel tended to heat it up. It's kind of hard to shoot a rifle one-handed. So they couldn't put a forend on it, and also they found that the Henry was kind of difficult to load having the the sleeve on the end of the barrel that you had to rotate to load, so they incorporated a side loading gate device. So that was the first one with the side loading gate, is This that is correct? the first model with the side loading gate, that is correct. Now, however, the frame was all brass, so Winchester folks said, well, hey, let's do something a little better. We got a good design gun, and they decided they needed a little better material, so they developed the 1873 Winchester. This is the 1873 Long Range Express Rifle. Comes in a 30 inch barrel, a 24 inch, and a 20 inch short rifle, as well as a 19 inch saddle ring carbine. This rifle is available in the 45 Long Colt, the 4440 caliber, and the 357 caliber. Mm -hmm. It has a steel frame that has been case hardened. And um, think about our rifles in particular, it's going to be stamped with a model 1873. Just like the original Winchesters, it has King's Improvement patent dates on the same, the same stampings that are on the old Winchesters. The caliber markings are correct, and we keep these guns cleaned up where the, the proof markings, where they're, where they're manufactured in Italy, the proof markings are hidden up under the, the uh, fore end. So someone would actually think that was just a new condition, new uh, original from, yes. from what they look like. It, it does have a Made in Italy stamp made on it and it has our name, Cimarron Repeating Arms Company. Well, of course, but for to get the feel and the enjoyment of... This of, is an exacting reproduction uh -huh, uh -huh. and they shoot just as well as the originals. And made from modern components of the handle modern. Well, ammunition. that's the beauty part. If you have one of the old guns, you may not want to shoot it at all. Uh, that's you correct. can still have the same uh, shooting experience with one of these uh, for a whole lot less uh, danger to yourself, in fact. Two, one. Okay, John, another thing I would like to mention is that we have a custom shop as well. We offer custom engraving of all variations from a 30% to a full coverage engraving. We have special models that we do. We offer also, also offer custom plating and nickel plating, silver and gold. And we have a grip maker on staff that will make grips of micarta, stag, buffalo horn, pearl, um, pearl polymer, real mother of pearl, and real ivory. This is what we call one of our cattle brand engraved guns. It's it's in a nickel plate, it's a full coverage cattle brand engraved, and it's out, with, outfitted with McCart ivory grips. It has fire blue screws. This is a 45 Colt single action in the pre-war frame. 
very, very impressive. We offer these guns competitively priced. You can purchase this gun for what you would pay for a new manufactured Colt single action. With the engraving, it's fabulous. The gun as you see it here, complete, would retail for around $1,400. Oh, that's as pretty as can be. This is another version of the gun in the Peacekeeper model. It's outfitted with pearl polymer grips. It is fully engraved, nickel plated, once again with the fire blue screws. Really good shot. That is as pretty as can be. Of course, the good news is we're talking about quality guns that can actually be shot. I don't know if I want to shoot some of these as pretty as they are, but they well, actually... Well, sir, we, we sell weapons to, a lot of weapons to collectors, but the majority of people that buy our weapons are looking for a practical alternative to, to a single action that doesn't cost a thousand dollar bill. And these are the highest quality, our standard single actions are the highest quality single actions manufactured in Italy to date. Every gun that's reproduced, every Colt single action that's reproduced over there is playing one, one step behind us trying to play catch up to build well, the quality of weapons that we have to offer. Well, you have such a tremendous selection. Tell us how. We've got a lot of people who are going to see this on our program, and they're going to be interested in getting in touch with you folks. How can they do that for more information on your product? We're located in Fredericksburg, Texas. Our mailing address is P.O. Box 906, Fredericksburg, Texas 78624. And our phone number is area code 210-997-9090. We have Rich G of Gunsight Training Center, and of course this is Walt Roush. A lot of you will be very familiar with Walt. He's been a, a writer for many years, has a very colorful uh, uh, past as a law enforcement officer, and of course still a practicing private investigator, and a really very fine person. We're going to do an interview with Walt in just a moment and let him tell us about uh, some of the things he's doing now. Good. This is not true. Hey. Act natural. Have you seen my $600 man look? <laughs> <laughs> Edit. Three, two, one. Ladies and gentlemen, here we are in the gunsight booth, of course, with Walt Roush, which you haven't met on our program before. Now, you have seen this gentleman here, Rich G. And, of course, we were out at Gunsight Training Center. And, of course, they want us back out. To, Rich has promised us that he'll bring us through the course and we'll have fun. We'd love to have you here. Well, now, see there? All right, we have a million witnesses out here, Rich. And we look very forward to doing that. They're such nice people. But, Walt, of course, many of you have known of this, of this gentleman for a number of years. He's a very fine writer. Walt, tell us what you're doing now, sir, please. Right, as far as the writing or as yeah. far as the National Tactical Invitational? Well, let's do both. Well, let's the, the writing first. The writing, primarily for the Harris Publication Group of Combat Handguns, Guns and Weapons Law Enforcement. Also, Police Security News. It's a monthly tabloid of another organization. Now, of course, Walt does know from hence he speaks. As we mentioned, he has a, a history in law enforcement and as, in detective work, for that matter. Well, I've been an Army Intelligence Agent and a Secret Service Agent and a Fugitive agent, if you will, uh, for about yes, 10 years. You said that because the first thing that came out was fugitive. <laughs> yeah. No, he is not a fugitive. No. Well, it was uh, basically we hunted uh, people that failed to appear for court or uh, skipped after their sentencing and uh, need to be found. Well, I found about 2,000 physical arrests in 10 years, Good. mostly by searching houses. So we, that's why. We, we got some knowledge of how to clear a room. Well, this is why Walt's writings are so entertaining, because the man actually does know what he's talking about. And all those people out there writing stories, I wonder if some of them are, know exactly what they're talking about. But Walt is one who does, certainly. Now then, let's talk about you and Rich are talking the National Tactical Invitational, which you folks saw on our program uh, this past year. It's going to be a gun site, right? Tell us about that's that. Correct. Well, it'll be held uh, the first uh, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, first weekend in June. The purpose of the Na National Tactical Invitational is to provide a test bed for people to validate their own learning, their training experience, and what knowledge they have, identify problem areas that can be corrected, and expose charlatans. If the technique is fraudulent, we're bringing real-life problems that we've survived, obviously, most often by luck, some through skill, and we're presenting these problems to individuals who have training from other individuals, such as Rich G. Uh, 
um, the point is, in most instances, whatever test is given to someone after they've taken a course is only a test to reflect teaching principles of that course. We don't know that that, in fact, is valid from a real-life experience in many instances, not in this particular instance, because they have real-life experienced trainers. The NTI gives you a cold test so that you can bring your skills to it. Well, I, I also think that, uh, importantly, the, the NTI match represents a good educational component for someone to not only test their previous training, but to learn new aspects of practical training. And with that respect, uh, that's why we're inviting people in. That's why it's a gun site. Uh, we think that the environment there can be a, a very realistic opportunity for them. Now, who's going to be invited to the tactical limitation match? Thank you. Well, it's open it? to any citizen who can legally carry a firearm. Okay. It's an invitational because we need to see that they have the skill and the mental wherewithal to handle surprise, high-stress scenarios and problems. Safety. Safety, sir. It's safety. It's not a match for dilettantes. It's okay. not a, a competitor's match per se. Right. Because it is stre very stressful. And plus, you're not you're not using race guns here. You're using what you would carry on the street. Not very equipment. much so. Uh -huh. Duty equipment. equipment. Okay. The match more tests software than hardware. Okay. Well, for information about the NTI, how can they find this out? Who they need to call, who they need to write, what we need to do? Waller Roush, Post Office Box 510, Lafayette Hill, Pennsylvania, 19444. We'll put that up. We'll repeat that phone number again. Phone no, number no. is 215-825-4245. Okay, now, Rich, if you're interested about information about Gunsight, this fabulous training center, probably the most famous training center probably in the world. Thank you. Well, it's, it's, it's really true. And, of course, we have been there and seen their facility and looking forward to going back. How can they find out about information on Gunsight? Well, you can reach Gunsight at P.O. Box 700, Paulden, Arizona. And the zip code is 86334. Uh, our telephone number is 602 uh, 636-4565 and our fax number is 636-1236. I do want to add one last thing. Sure. We're running the NCI and the subsequent week courses are being offered by Gunsight okay. to fit in with the NTI so that if someone would make the trip they can also avail themselves of the training immediately. We, we have class training before and, and after the NTI, NTI match and uh, they'll be training classes in shotgun, uh, basic and advanced pistol, and also carbine. Well, and for those of you who have seen uh, anything from the gun, gun site facility on our past programs, they know what a fine, uh, terrific training center it is. And these people don't go halfway. It is a full, 100% terrific training uh, exercise that will do all of us good. Now, see, I, I'm learning to shoot a gun, Rich. No, I've, <laughs> I've seen you shoot people. I've, I'm learning to shoot a gun a little bit, I've seen but I don't sure want to go up and go through the course, and because I know I'll learn some things I don't know. Well, I think more than ever before in our industry, we want people to understand that there, there's a responsibility uh, to mature firearms ownership. And beyond that, with re within the realm of professionals and those interested in professional de or personal defense, we think that there needs to be uh, even more responsibility. And, and hence, we want to make our, our, our training available, and, and we want to highlight the NTI at gun sites. So we're real proud of being a part of it. Gentlemen, thank you so much thank for you, visiting with us today. Rich, thank Rich, you. Walt, it's a pleasure. Walt and I have been talking on the phone now for months and months, and it's a pleasure to finally get to meet each other. So, so thank nice you. to see you all. Thank We're you. having a great shot show, aren't we? Yes, very thank much you. so. And we're out. Basically, Malcolm designed this action himself, and he designed it to the specs of the British Special Air Service. It's built around a 10-round magazine in 308. And basically, the nice thing about these rifles is that they can be put together and rebarreled within a couple of hours. I want to them to give a quarter of a minute accuracy, and they're built like a military weapon. Now, Rich, you're offering these. You're, are you offering these for sale at Gunsight? Yes, we are. 
Rich, we want to cover this for you. Rich, they really have a, 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 an expanding product line, and of course this is absolute some of the finest things that money can buy at any price. Uh, some of the finest long-range target guns in the world, in fact. Most impressive. and gentlemen okay let me re let me re-edit there at three two one need a little little time for the red light to heat up get away from being nervous that's right ladies and gentlemen here we are in the wesson firearms booth with none other than carol wesson and uh, she is, is going to tell us some things about some of the new things they're doing and we've got a little surprise we won't talk about uh, they may be doing a shoot and show special gun that we'll be talking about a little bit later. We're very excited about that, but Carol, tell me, how has your year been as a gun manufacturer? We've had a very good year. In 1993, we had a 41% increase in sales. Yeah. <laughs> well, I would like to think that the Shoot and Show had a little something to do with that. I would like to think that. The Shoot and Show has always been very supportive of us, and um, we've had good response. We've had people call about it, and um, Shoot and Show has always been very helpful. Well, let me throw in. Well, thank you. Let me throw in a little commercial here, and this this is for real friends. If you're looking for a revolver, please look at a Wesson revolver. The quality is superior. And we've gone through not only guns we got from them this year, but we went to some distributors and bought some that nobody knew about, and we tried them, and they have functioned so well. And if you're looking for a, a superior quality metal manufacturer and service, see these people actually are, are real and they're. They're, they're very considerate of their gun owners because my goodness just like our viewers if, if they can't keep coming back to you see I don't want to run all my people off this week <laughs> we need them there next week right. and next week and certainly with you folks well, what uh, you have any new products we need to be talking about we have a new hunter series uh, comes in uh, 44 445 357 super mag and 41 well you mentioned the 445 uh, Starline is making brass. They're making the brass. For 445 and wow. tremendous cartridge. And I just wish that one of the long gun manufacturers would make a rifle to go with their handgun. Although your handgun is probably going to be more accurate than the rifle anyway. <laughs> well, the 445 has been a very popular caliber. Very popular. Once the brass was made and people and brass was accessible, it would become very popular. Well, we're going to be looking at uh, some of the some of these new packages you have. Now, tell us about the Massachusetts Gun Owners Action League. What are you folks doing? Well, Gun Owners Action League has been in existence. This is their 20th anniversary uh, for 1994. Um, they are the lobbying group in Massachusetts. Our constitution in Massachusetts does not allow any outside lobbying to come in, so we have to have our own lobbying organization, and we have for 20 years. Well, you folks have done uh, really some pretty spectacular things in Massachusetts. And you know, just like some of all of, of us as, as different states and different areas, Unfortunately, there's a surplus of lunatic politicians, and you've got, uh, certainly not, not naming any names, <laughs> but we've got a couple from Louisiana, let me tell you what. But uh, certainly, uh, we need to get the gun owners mobilized mm -hmm. and out here. We're, you know, on every show, we're talking about if, if we can't wake the American people up as to what's happening, we won't have to worry about firearms because they're not going to let us have any. The anti-gun people cannot be reasoned with. They've got to be stopped. Mm -hmm. and through very fine manufacturers. And let me tell you what else, folks. Let me, I'm going to say this on our program. Uh, a lot of the guns that we have on our show from some of the major manufacturers, uh, they, the, they don't give us those guns. We have to borrow them, buy them. Some are loaned to us by the manufacturers. But it's people like the Wesson Arms Company, yes, that have supported us from the very beginning. A lot of the major manufacturers do not understand the need for television. Mm -hmm. They don't understand the need for changing the image that the, the the organized media the Hollywood media has done to us mm -hmm. and you know what I don't know it, it's uh, yeah I've been a little hostile here a few times at the shot show because it makes me angry that people in our own industry
industry cannot wake up and smell the coffee. We have to do it. And again, friends, these people are among the most progressive manufacturers in our industry. They will, will try things and, and explore concepts because they want to make the best shooting gun possible. You want to tell us about your new rifling uh, uh, arrangement. Can you do that? The <coughs> Taylor forcing cone? Yes. Uh -huh. The Allen Taylor forcing cone is a double forcing cone uh, that we've put in certain revolvers. It will be in the Hunter series. It, um, when the bullet comes out of the uh, cylinder, cylinder into, into the forcing cone, normally with the, with the single stage forcing cone, the bullet is starting to twist before it stabilizes. The Allen Taylor forcing cone is has a, a spot where uh, before the rifling so that it can stabilize before it actually goes down the, the barrel. Well now, now when the bullet leaves the cylinder on a normal revolver, mm -hmm. it gets a pretty rude experience when it right. hits the rifle. And this sort of lets it adjust a little bit. One, the, it, uh, the bullet's not as likely to strip. You'll get a more accurate overall mm -hmm. route. Mm -hmm. So things like this, that, uh, and they can do it with their, of course they have the state-of-the-art manufacturing machine machine, machine uh, mm -hmm. tools and things like that. So, you know what, if you're looking for a revolver, okay, you need to look at a Wesson revolver first because one, you're not going to do better on quality and you're also supporting one of the finest companies on the scene today. Well, let's take a look at some of their guns. All right. Edit three, two, one. Ladies and gentlemen, you'll recognize Seth Wesson, a good friend of ours, and, and certainly this is a family that their son is a very fine shooter. Of course, we just uh, spoke with Carol. Uh, they are such decent and nice people, so we're very pleased to be working with them. Now, Seth, this is a the Hunter Series. Now, show us, please, what uh, what's different about this gun from in the Hunter Series from from your normal. Well, let's start over here. We've got a. Uh, this is offered in a 44 Magnum, 357 Super Mag, 41 Magnum, and uh, one of the things that has a compensator on on it, which is a chamber in here where the uh, the barrel actually stops back here about an inch and a half, and the bullet goes into the chamber. Gases come on up out the top, keeps the recoil down. It's it's well, really really amazing. This is helpful in cleaning. This this attachment right here is very well thought out. And of course. And, uh, the, the finish, the fit and polish on your guns is absolutely terrific. And one, you have enough, you have uh, strength is evident all over these guns. The, the grips here are just uh, as pretty as can be. Yeah, they need and, to be strong, Johnny. Yeah. Yeah. For the yeah. strong cartridge. They do. Yes, sir. And uh, another thing that's uh, through all this whole Hunter series is we've got a, a dovetail rear sight here. This sight's made by the iron sight. Gun works. Uh, Jim Rock uh, helps us with that. It's got a Taylor throated barrel with a, the Taylor throat forcing cone in it, and it's uh, a tune job on it. it. It's got a, a trigger job done on these, and these should be good. They're, di they're different series of these. Uh, what calibers you have the Hunter series available in? The 44, 44 Magnum, okay. 41, 41, 357 Super Mag, and the 445. And the 445. 445, there's two. And as we've said before, of course, we've shot these guns on our program. These guns will outshoot a lot of rifles at 100. Uh, and th this is well documented. There are Wesson guns that will shoot fantastic groups, not at 100, but 200 yards. I've heard of Wesson guns shooting three inch groups without a scope. Now with a darn good shooter, hey, with a great shooter, at 200 yards. No way, just a minute. We've watched them. I mean, We've watched them. Well, I've seen spotted it. for them. I spotted for in shoot off targets and silhouette shooting at 200 meters out there. And, and these little critters are only about that big. Yeah. And I've well, seen steel people like critters, that is. The steel critters. The silhouette. That's right. And uh, I can't even see with my naked eye. Uh -huh. and, and then they just disappear and go away. It's just unbelievable. Now, they work great on steel critters, but they also work on the real thing. So uh, among the very best hunting, and, and certainly these guns can double uh, as, as defensive guns. And I tell you what, there's one thing that we need to be aware of when when you have a gun for self-defense, you got to be able to trust it. And you have uh, on a, I'll show you something here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, recently we had on one of the, shall we say, larger manufacturers' firearms, uh, one of the larger companies, we lost a little pin 
from one of their guns. Well, the Wesson is made so that this can never jam from a pin coming out because there's not one there. Not one there. There's a, a very fine groove arrangement, so there's nothing to come out. So, yes, these guns are extremely reliable and rugged and durable. And like I said, if you're looking for a revolver, let's take a look at one of these Wessons. Yeah, and, and two with the, uh, the top of the line and the Hunter series is where we get into the, the scope mounted, mm -hmm. the scope mounted handgun. And personally, I, I like open sight, but uh, but, it's, uh, but we do offer it, and there are people who do want it. Well, or, 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 of course, your guns are accurate enough to shoot at 100 plus yards, and you got a cartridge like a 4, uh, 445 Super Mag that is potent out way past 100 yards. And if to hit a say a vital zone on a small deer or a hog hunt or something like that, the scope what most of us it helps just us to see that point better. And uh, this is great. I know you have a, a non-fluted non cylinder here. Cylinder. That is as pretty as can be. Well, friends, you know we're going to keep you updated on Wesson Arms. We appreciate them taking time to visit with us here at the Shot Show. We've had uh, we've had a pretty nice time. It's been it's, has it has been work, Seth. Oh, it's, it's been work. It's, we're it's winding always. down now. It's Sunday. The Super the uh, the Dallas Cowboys are playing football, and people are kind of interested in that. Well, it gives us a chance to breathe a little bit, doesn't it? It does. Our feet are tired. We worked hard, but uh, we had a good response. We had a great response. Well, sir, good, good luck. Let's like have a great you. next year. Okay. Thank you so much, Thank you. Seth. <laughs> Friends, we found this interesting. Look at these. These are decoys. Now, this is great, isn't it? Isn't that something? In that Walt, Disney, Walt Disney can't do a bit better than me. Well, I'll tell you what, they don't sure look real to me. Yes, they do. This is the uh, Higdon That's Motion good. Decoy System. Where are you from? Where are you folks out of? We're from Paducah, Kentucky. You got a phone number how people can find out about your yes, products? Sir. Yes, sir. We've what is it? Phone number on the brochure and fax. Uh, the phone number is 502-554-2485. That's, uh, like I said, Kentucky Area Code. Our fax number is 502-554-5759. Well, i tell you what, you have an imp impressive booth. And Thank you very wish much. Wish you folks a lot of good luck. We sure appreciate it. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we're at Olympic Arms with Bob Schutz here, the head of Olympic Arms, and they have some, of course, always interesting product. Of course, they're also safari arms, and they're bringing back a new gun called the Whitney, an old gun, in fact, and that's going to be there. They're working on that. That's a cast frame for that. Of course, the safari arms pistols. Now, this is the pistol. Dave, tell us what um, little little info on that pistol there, please, well, sir. Brian Schutz is the, the fellow who designed it. It's, uh, as you can see, doesn't have the recoil spring assembly out the back of the receiver anymore. Mm -hmm. It's built into this tube over top. Still utilizes the standard uh, AR-15 M16 style gas tube, six inch barrel. Uh, magazine, same as the AR-15 rifle. All right, hit it. Well, now here's Brian shoots. He has the varmint model of the pistol. Tell yeah. us about it, Brian. Well, with this with this pistol, I can shoot pretty consistent, uh, some real tight groups of uh, three quarters and under that I've shot myself. It's, uh, very has hardly any kick to it at all when you're shooting. It's just a whole lot of fun to use in any type of varmint hunt. Well, that is so neat. Now you are shipping these guns now. Is that correct? That's correct. So someone can actually buy one of these. At Talk about uh, conversation piece. Yeah, it's uh, these are we're, we're shipping them right now. We are back. We're on like crazy. They're a very popular item for us, but they are going out the door. So doing best we can. Well, certainly good to see you folks again. We're going to tell the folks if they want information. We're going to give them your phone number right now. Okay. The uh, information you uh, best phone number to use would be uh, uh, one two zero six four five six three four seven. It is three, two, one.
friends, here's a new gun from the Llama. And it's just too much for us to photograph here at the at the shot show. But this is a wide body uh, 45 ACP, a new gun from them. And I'm going to hold it up here. It looks real nice. I believe it's a 13 shot uh, magazine. I believe so. And we're, we hope to be testing one on the program soon. That's from Lama. Okay, this is the Grendel uh, carbine, in fact. And as, as you folks are familiar with our uh, coverage on the P30, and this has a collapsible stock and, of course, a longer barrel. Certainly a high-performance version, a very fine 22 magnum rifle. And, of course, the terrific P30. And you folks know how I feel about those and the other guns that is available from Grendel. They also have a pistol version of the carbine. It's most interesting. And look for more coverage on our program soon. Edit three, two, one. Well, ladies and gentlemen, here we are at the Barnes Bullet Booth and here are a couple of young ladies who are standing beside a gigantic, I don't know what caliber X bullet that is, but why don't you tell us who you are, ladies? My name's Jessica Harrison. Jessica, where are you folks from? We're from American Fork, Utah. Well, good. That's a beautiful part of the country. And what's your name, ma'am? My name is Chandra Patey. Ch Chandra what now? Chandra Patey. Chandra Patey. Well, Chandra and, uh, and the first name, Jessica. I should remember that. i got a daughter named Jessica. Uh, why don't you tell us what that large X bullet is, please? Actually, we don't tend to use this. We don't use this much in the field. This is really intended for a boat anchor. <laughs> well, I thought you might uh, you might shoot it out of a tank. Maybe it's about the right size. <laughs> Actually, that would be very that would be very good to do it for. But right now, we we just use it for a boat anchor at this point. Well, that's a model, of course, of your very successful X bullet, <laughs> and what uh, it's made out of pure copper. Is that yes. is that right? It's made of pure copper. Uh, it, it's it's typically an expanding type of solid bullet. Uh, it's, it's got a hollow cavity in the frontal portion which allows it to expand. Average weight retention is approximately 98.5%. My goodness, well, we've heard a lot of good things about it. And we're going to tell the folks if they want more information on Barnes Bullets, should they ask for that at their uh, sporting goods store or should they call you direct? We would like them to ask for it at their, at their sporting goods store, but they may call the factory direct and we will be happy to send them the information. Okay, well, thank you so much. We we'll wish you folks a lot of good luck. Thank you. The Patriot 223 pistol. All right, show me one. Tell me what it does, please, sir. Patriot. All right, edit. Three, two, one. Okay. This is our Rocky Mountain Arms Patriot 223 caliber pistol. We use our own milled upper and milled lower. It uses any standard AR-15 magazine, has a seven and a half inch barrel. It gives us a muzzle velocity of about 2,200 feet per second, and they're available for immediate shipment. All right, now about Rocky Mountain Arms, this is Jeff Stamp, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, and he's gonna tell us how to get in touch with him. You can reach us at Rocky Mountain Arms, 600 South Sunset Street, Longmont, Colorado, 80501. Jeff, it's nice to meet you. You folks do have some very interesting looking guns, and we wish you a lot of good luck. Thank you very much. We sure appreciate it.